Today, I have several ways that you can actually use photo minimization techniques in Adobe Illustrator, including the usage of clipping masks in Illustrator. Welcome back to Tutorial Graphics, everybody, home of graphic design content. I just passed the 5,000 subscriber mark yesterday, and I have to give a huge thank you to all of those who decided to tune into my content on a regular basis, as well as those of you who like and share my videos and leave comments. It really does help my channel grow. I'm going to look forward to the future and onwards and upwards with my content. Illustrator is a program used for vector drawings and designs, but you can actually use photo manipulation in the newer versions of Illustrator and turn those images into vectors afterwards. You can use Clipping Mask in Illustrator and it's a very straightforward process. First, we will use the Ellipse tool to cover an area we want to cut out with the Clipping Mask. Once happy, add a fill to the shape and then select both the image and the shape. Go up to Object, Clipping Mask and then hit Make. You will now have cut out the image with the Clipping Mask in Illustrator. You can be more precise using the pen tool to make the exact shape custom to your image. And then use the same method as before by applying a clipping mask. The second technique to manipulate images in Illustrator is just something for fun. You can basically pixelate yourself by selecting an image and then going up to object and create a mosaic. Leave all of the settings to default apart from choosing how many squares you want to add. Once you've created it, you can then ungroup everything so you can edit each individual square. This is now a vector design, so it can be scaled up or down to any size and retain quality. You might be familiar with the photos in Photoshop, but they also exist as effects in the effects panel in Illustrator. I like to play around the artistic choices but the thing with Illustrator is that once you've chosen the filter or effect, you can then open up the image trace window, allowing you to turn the image into a vector, whereas Photoshop is always going to generate a raster image with pixels. I will show you how to use the image trace tool next. I have shown how to use the image trace tool on my channel before, but I have to add it in this list because it really will help you with your graphic design workflow. You may have a client that's given you some icons to use on your design, but you want to edit them or you maybe you want to ensure the quality is going to be good enough, but the JPEG is not going to surface. Simply open up the image in Illustrator and then access the image trace window. You can create a black and white version or a color version of the image and play around the settings to see how it will turn out, but remember to click preview. When ready, go up to Object, Image Trace and Expand. Now your image will be a vector, and if you ungroup it, the entire thing will be able to be edited in Illustrator, and also scaled up or down to any size. So do you use Illustrator for photo manipulation and do you ever use clipping mask in Illustrator? Let me know in the comment section below and like and share this video if you found it useful. Subscribe for 4 graphic design uploads per week and until next time design your future today, peace.